Sassy Jenny. Also Matisse, who did a decent job in her a two-year-old campaign heading towards a blue diamond, running seventh as they move up well for the Scarborough, the old champagne stakes as Gigi's Miss Truth has gone forwards. The Tasmanian for Stuart Gandy at Brighton. So we have 11 to go in this as Bold Bastille in her rise and Bellatrix Star, who went up the straight last time at Flemington. Zaytung is in a point 850 into 750 on VOP. Bold Bastille holds the call by 40 cents on the bookies boards ahead of Gigi's Miss Truth as Bellatrix Star is brought forward and Bold Bastille is going to be the last. The Scarborough Stakes, Benagil stands well. Blake Shins won the last two versions of this race. The field is set, racing in the Scarborough, Matisse midfield away, Bold Bastille jumped well with to be or not to be. Chateau Miraval got up to third, they're two lengths in front of Bellatrix Star and Gigi's Miss Truth. A couple sassy Jenny followed by another Prophet and they steam three lengths in front of Benagil and well back in the field Matisse, a gap to Zaytung and in her rise is last. So it's Bold Bastille, 750 metres to go with superior speed to the bend, a length and a quarter in front of Chateau Miraval to be or not to be as third and fourth Bellatrix star. A length and a quarter, Gigi's Miss Truth. Fifth on the fence, then another Prophet. Next, Sassy Jenny, Matisse, Benagil, well back Zaytung, and in her eyes. That's the order as they come towards the 450. It's Bold Bastille, Chateau Miraval attempting to get a little bit closer. To be or not to be needing luck. Bellatrix star hooked to the outside. Gigi's Miss Truth also needs some luck. Still three off the lead. Behind them, Sassy Jenny. And further back in the field, Matisse as Bellatrix. A trick star is produced at the 150, moves up to to be or not to be, then Gigi's Miss Truth, but Bellatrix Star racing out of its skin, and Bellatrix Star won at three quarters, Gigi's Miss Truth, to be or not to be third, photo four, Zaytung or Matisse, then came another prophet, Bold Bastille, Benagil in her rise, Sassy Jenny, and Chateau Miraval. Well, puts to bed the theory, she's a wet tracker, the star witness, Philly, uh, handled the wet track at Flemington, to win the cap on teams and many expecting that once it got on a dry track that the form would turn around same winner she's a quality filly there's no doubting that if you stayed uh, uh, with confidence with her gee you've been rewarded with a price gg's mistruth this quality tasmanian filly runs second to be or not to be runs third and some real eye catches from the rear of the field including matisse she's a good filly this uh, bellatrix star yeah, she certainly is.